Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The video just, oh, this just does not do this sunset justice. Anyways, I thought that I would change things up here on my channel. I thought that I, well, I shouldn't say change things up as if I'm gonna stop posting my other content. However, I truly believe in like mind, body, spirit, and all three should be cohesively working together to be your best self. And I'm all about being your best self. Um, I'm all about, you know, like when it comes to spirituality, I believe that the spiritual journey is your journey. I don't associate with like new age spirituality because to me, new age spirituality is its own religion. There's things in new age spirituality that resonate me with me, just like there are things within religion that resonate with me. But I, anyways, I guess my point with that is I don't, I'm not trying to like have a niche of just spirituality. I do share a lot about it as I channel and it's a big part of who I am. With that said, I'm a bit of a health nut. Like for, I shouldn't say a health nut, but like I love to cook. So I, you know, I want to take care of the foods that I put into my body. I'm very mindful of, of what I eat. And with, don't get me wrong, I enjoy myself a good pizza and like pasta and I, I have my treats as well. But I thought I would just start sharing some more of my stuff, like some more of my like background life stuff and mind, body, spirit stuff. Um, I'm actually like a big, I'm big into fitness and health as well. Like I actually had my personal training certification for a while until I let it expire <laughs> because I don't do that anymore. But let me know if you want some, just like, I don't know if lifestyle is the right word, but like, ooh, my ear's ringing. Mind, body, spirit. Let me know. Let me know if you think of today's video. I am going to make dinner. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of today's video. Let's dive in. I'm back really quick. <laughs> I thought that before I get into what I make, I went to the grocery store. I did just like a little, not even a haul, but I thought that I would show you what I bought. We have my kitty cat right here. Hey, baby girl. And I always like snack too like while I'm cooking those are healthy cookies next time I make them I'll like make a video on it <laughs> I love you but she's got to get off the table because I'm about to cook but anyways let me show you what I got at the grocery store I picked up some things for dinner tonight there's things that like I already had so I got a bunch of apples oh because do you know what maybe i'll show you as well i love to make these juice shots for myself um I'm, I'm planning on making them today so i bought a bunch of apples because i put apples in them i change it up every time but i'll, I'll do that as well but other than that i got some goat cheese because i'm making a salad tonight but not a boring ass salad your girl is making a chunky salad and what i mean by chunky salad is like filled with a lot of goodness you know like not a skinny salad <laughs> I shouldn't use those words because that could come off the wrong way. But you get what I'm saying, like a delicious salad. <laughs> I bought some sweet potato. I might make some sweet potato tonight. We'll see, not sure if I'm gonna add that in the salad or not, but sweet potatoes always like I love to have. Um, I bought some more avocados. I do try to buy all organic. Um, wow, it's five, five, five. Girl, it's my cat getting into things. Anyways, um, I do try to buy all organic. With that said, I know that it can be more expensive. You know, I've gone through times where I can't afford or organic. Now I'm grateful that currently I'm doing okay money-wise. So, you know, I'm able to spend a little bit more on that. But um, what I will say is if you can't buy organic, that's okay, bless bless your food. I always bless my food anyways before I eat it. Um, just through intention, just visualizing it in, yeah. It doesn't need to be, yeah, bless it however it feels right for you. I bought some snacks. I don't normally buy this stuff, not that even it's bad, but I saw it and I was like, mm. I love, this is like obviously not sponsored. Girl, my cat, hold on. Anyways, I bought these because these are just so good. They're just so good. So when I, you know, watch um, a movie or when I want a snack or whatever, you know, nice to have some chicken. So I actually haven't eaten chicken or meat in about a year. And my views have shifted again. 
really quickly, if you've been following me for a while, wow, 333 as I looked up on my time there, <laughs> of course. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I, my, majority of my diet is plant-based. I try to eat very plant-based, and what I mean by that is foods of the earth. There's a while there where I was called to not eat meat anymore. I was actually feeling nauseous. Like, I came out of nowhere. I didn't think I'd ever stop eating meat, um, but I was eating meat, and it was making me nauseous. Then I went to Costa Rica on this... Um, I got invited on this trip and it was life changing, but we stayed on a resort um, and there was, it was an all vegan resort and it was like animals were there as well. Why can't I th rescue it? Rescue animals. I'm like, why can't I think of the word? And after that, I really got the message of like, oh my gosh, I don't think spirit. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't eat meat. Like I stopped eating meat. I, I kept eating uh, fish through this whole time excuse me, but I felt really called to stop eating meat. And then in the summer, I got this profound download of your body is a temple, you are housing royalty. And this is not me, just me, this is all of us, right? We are all housing royalty. But Spirit made it very clear how the meat industry is so toxic. It's so toxic and it just kind of like furthered my, my not wanting to eat meat. And because to me, everything is energy. These animals are not treated well at all. They're pumped with steroids. Um, they are living in fear. When you, and think, think of that, you're consuming that into your body. It's not right. So that's why I stopped eating meat. And more recently, I started feeling like, well, do you know what? Like if it was hunted, I would eat hunted meat. Um, because to me, that's ethical. To me, oh, there's my cat. <laughs> to me, that makes more sense. That's what it used to be back in the day when the animal is not living in fear. It's taken out like that. And it's also treated with respect. It's treated with respect. It's honored. And all parts of the animal are used. That I can get behind. So I said, you know, I'd eat hunting meat. Fast forward about a month. Somebody actually comes into my life who is a hunter. <laughs> I'm like, this is so interesting. And um, I was introduced to meat again through him the first time actually he put some meat that he caught. <laughs> I'm laughing because I never saw my life going this way. And it started making me think of meat again. And I'm realizing spirit really wanted me to feel that because they really wanted me to be aware of how terrible the meat industry is. So with that said... I'm going to be reintroducing meat back into my diet. I'm never going to eat pork, though. That's one meat that I'll never eat. Um, and beef, like, m m I don't know, less frequently. With that said, I'm going to start reintroducing it, but I'm going to be very mindful of the meat that I do consume. Um, I There's a place that I go to here, and all of the meat is, it's um they it's it's even blessed beforehand like i know that anyways i guess my point is is i'm being very mindful of, of what, what i consume the meat i consume and i'm not gonna overindulge um so that's just kind of like the message i got and i'm gonna try to stick to honestly like hunted meat since i i kind of can now <laughs> but i realize that not everyone can eat hunted meat i mean i'm not telling you what you should do but some people also ask me about my diet and i've recently gotten that question so this is actually a great perfect opportunity to bring it up um so today i've been craving chicken i've been craving chicken i haven't had chicken i don't remember the last time i had chicken it's probably been over a year since i've had chicken so Oh wait, no, I reintroduced, since I've been starting to eat meat, I did have chicken in a wrap a week ago, or two weeks ago, which was the first time I've had it. This is the second time that I'm having it. And I've been craving the salad that I put chicken in. So I, yeah, just bought chicken breast that I'm gonna be adding to the salad. I guess that's my little update on the food. Um, I still like to eat very, I just like to eat foods of the earth, like whole foods. With that said, I don't like completely restrict myself. Like we're here to enjoy as well. There's a difference between enjoying and overindulging. So 
And don't get me wrong, overindulge once in a while, but as long as it's not a regular thing, that's more so what I meant by, by overindulging. And I used to struggle with like binge eating and, and a lot of that. If you're curious more of that backstory, I would recommend checking out my, um, I do have a video on like body image and stuff like that, so I'd watch that. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough of that. Let me show you what else that I got. So I got the bag of apples. I didn't get too many things because I already have like, I only needed a few things for the salad. And then I got a bunch of, I got um, spring mix. So I'm gonna be putting a bunch of goodness. I'm gonna be having spring mix. I'm going to be probably cutting up an apple. I'm gonna be putting some dates. I got dates in there. I might even hard boil an egg, some blueberries, some chicken, just like some onion. Literally, I'm just filling it up with goodness. And then I bought some dressing the other day that I'm gonna use as well. Let's dive into the meal. What is it? What is oh yes. Yes, my girl. Love baby girl. Yes, hi. Say, I'm cute. I'm the cutest thing in the whole world. And mommy had to pause to give me the spotlight. Go off, please. I'm Why am I like this? Like literally out of sight, out of mind. I think it's, yeah, anyways. Like it's a, an actual thing for me. <laughs> I don't, it wasn't where it's supposed to be because it was a dishwasher, I forgot I used it, anyways. And yes, this is a glass of wine. Well, it's actually like a glass of wine half wine, half pineapple juice, <laughs> like a little sangria with some dried tangerine in there for a little like, uh, oh, <laughs> I might like this. Anywho, do I... Now Google Home isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. I did not ask you anything, thank you. Um, yes, this is a glass of wine. No, I don't drink every day. <laughs> But I'm not, I really don't drink alcohol much. That's one thing that is not, doesn't make my body feel good. With that said, I do enjoy a glass of wine every now and again. And it goes back to like the balance. I truly believe that we're here to have balance. And I don't know, there's something special about wine to me. Like I think, especially like where it's made, who makes it, the love that's put into it. I think it's, there's something beautiful about it. I know a lot of people in the spiritual community community are like, oh, no, alcohol. And it's like moderation. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I'm enjoying a glass as I'm making myself this nice salad. Um, you know, I opened up a bottle of wine the other day and this is probably like, I'm gonna finish the bottle, not all in one night, but I had a glass when I opened it. I had a glass the next night because you know, I don't, I'm not sharing it with anybody. So, but I opened up a bottle of wine for myself because I wanted it and I don't want it to go bad. There's some left, I might leave the rest for cooking, but I am enjoying it. Another glass of wine with my dinner tonight and 
I probably won't open up another bottle of wine for a while, not that it matters, but I just like really want to preach balance, you know what I'm saying? Like you could be really spiritual and you can enjoy an alcohol an alcohol an alcoholic beverage once in a while. You know? In moderation. Anyways. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Why am I if you guys like want to see more of these videos, you're going to see like the, you're going to see, sorry, I want to see if my neck needed to crack. You're going to see like the crazy Brittany, but she's fun, so. miss ma'am what more do you want I gave you cuddles and I fed you you want some of my food don't you you hmm let's try it let's try it mm, mm, mm. honestly dates Medjool date, game changer for salads. Add a little bit more dressing. Yes. Do you agree with me, miss? Anyways. Girl, what is it, miss ma'am? My cat is so vocal. My cat is so vocal. Anyways, I know that I said I was gonna make those juice shots in this video, but I don't know if I'm gonna make them tonight. If I do, I might make it later, and I just will probably do it in another video. Like, I'm gonna make them sometime this week, but girl. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you thought of today's video. Let me know if you want more videos like this of me sharing my recipes, just kind of sharing, again, mind, body, spirit. Um, and until next time, bye guys. This is me, I'm so royal, and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round Round a champion, a champion